Hey, hello my friend. In this video, I want to talk to you about what does it take for a gallery to participate in an international art fair and also what you as an artist can do if you want to participate with a gallery in an art fair. So I'm here in Miami at Art Winwood. We are just a few minutes before this show opens today. And I want to give you some of the logistics of what it took for my gallery, 30 Contemporary Gallery, to be here. So it kind of gives you a little bit of behind the scenes, particularly if you're an artist and you don't know, you know what those galleries have to go through in order to be in an art fair like this one. My name is Sergio Gomez. I'm an artist, curator, gallery owner, author and co-founder of the Art Next Level program. And my goal with this channel is to make marketing and art business easy so that you can grow your art career, find new opportunities, sell more art, and spend more time creating in the studio. So if you like that, make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on the little bell so that you receive notifications of our future videos. Well, here, my friend, welcome back to the channel. Super happy because today we're gonna talk about what does it take for a gallery to participate in an international art fair? Perhaps you are a gallery owner, maybe you're, that's why you're watching this video. You are considering about applying for an art fair. Maybe you are an artist and you're thinking about, well, I, I would love to participate in an art fair. Maybe you're just curious about it and want to hear my opinion. Either way, you're in the right place. I'm gonna take you kind of like step by step in through all the different uh, steps that need to take place in order for a gallery today to participate in an international art fair. And specifically in this video, I'm focusing on contemporary art fairs, not street fairs, but rather the more upper scale art fairs that happen around the world in the most major cities around the world. And just about, if you look at the whole calendar, every month there are multiple art fairs happening in the biggest cities. You know, there may be uh, Art LA, Expo Chicago, the Armory Show in New York, Art Miami, Context, Art Basel, etc. You know, the list is long and wide. <laughs> so let's talk about step by step because I recently went through that process myself with my gallery. 33 Contemporary Gallery, and uh, I, I'm fresh. It's fresh in my mind, so I wanted to create this video for you. Now, I was going to do this video inside the booth, like I did for the opening of this uh, of this episode. However, it was so noisy, I was only able to do the intro, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna do it when I get back home, so my mind is fresh, and I can sit down and really don't have distractions of people, you know, walking into the booth. So. Let's go right in. The first thing, my friend, that you have to think about as a gallery is deciding which fair you want to participate or which fairs, because like I said, there's more than one. There are tons of fairs year round. Depends where you are in the world. Depends what kind of market you want to go into. Depends what kind of art you represent in your gallery. Depends what kind of fair you, know, you want to be part of. Um, and the price points vary as well, depends on the fare, depends on the location, and depends how far you want to travel, you know, how much you want to enter on a specific market. The next step of the process is the application. You have to go to that particular fare uh, website and download the application form. Usually it's a PDF that you download that gives you all the information that you need in order to apply. Usually as you submit that application, there will also be Two types of fees. One is the application fee, which is non-refundable, which will vary around $50 or so. And then the second fee is a refundable deposit. If you get accepted into the fair, that deposit goes towards the price of your booth. If you do not get accepted into the fair, then that deposit is uh, sent back to you. Once the application happens, then it's waiting time. Usually applications start about six months or so before the fair begins so you typically you will have to wait you know maybe a month or two you know right after the deadline to apply to hear back from the fair depends on the fair some are faster or, or take longer and once you receive the reply that you get accepted that's when this the clock starts ticking and all kinds of information will need will need to be provided to the fair you know from that point forward all the way to when the art fair opens and they will usually give you a schedule of what's needed. For example, when is the next payment due? When are the final artworks need to be uploaded to the website? All kinds of things, you know, that will need to happen. The next thing you need to think about once you've been accepted as a gallery is the layout of your booth. In the application process, you will have 
selected what size booth you want. That's pretty much the square footage of your booth. Now the next step is to work with the fair to figure out what kind of layout you want. You can leave it as simple as the rectangular shape that you get, or you can add on other walls or closets or doors or etc. Or if you are on a corner, you know, you need to figure out what, how will that look like. Some fairs may require that two sides of the fair may be open if it's a corner booth, etc. Those are all different details that you will have to deal with with the fair. When you're designing your booth, everything is an add-on besides what you normally would get, you know, in that specific size that you selected. Let's say if I wanted a closet, well, there is an add-on price to it. If I want another wall, there's a, uh, a you know, an add-on price to it. Everything is a la carte besides of what you get. So if I, the more I want, you know, the more I will be needing to pay for in order for that to happen. Same thing with the lights. Every booth size comes with a set number of lights. If you want more lights, you cannot bring your own lights. You have to use the lights specifically um, given by the fair. So you have to rent more lights. So very quickly, you know, a simple booth can get really, really costly because of the add-ons that you may want to add. Typically, you probably need a little bit more light. You know, depends on how many walls you are bringing to the fair. And that brings me to prices, right? How much does it cost for a gallery to have a booth at an international art fair? Well, the reality is that it is very costly. It is very expensive. Art fairs are very expensive um, and galleries have to plan for those expenses. But at the same time, you know, in today's art world, art market, you know, this is something that art galleries need to be part of. You know, need to be... Um, preparing for and budgeting for these type of expenses. So a typical booth size, you know, will run anything from 15,000 to 20, 25, 30, 40,000, 50, 100,000 or more, depends on the size of the booth, depends on the fare as well, the higher end the fare, the more expensive it will be. And by the way, at the very end, I'm gonna give you kind of some tips if you're an artist who want to participate with a gallery in an international art fair. So you want to also start working with your artists on what you're going to bring to the fair. And that's something that every gallery works really hard on thinking about which artists or artists uh, am I going to bring to this particular fair. Typically maybe from one artist to two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, etc. depending on the size of the artwork, depending on what the gallery wants to do, what's their curatorial program. Uh, for that particular fair. So working with the artist figure now what type of work is very important. Once that is selected and decided, then the next step for the galleries think about okay, how to bring this artwork into the fair, particularly if it's an, far away in a different city or perhaps even in a different country, how to get your artwork from your gallery or from the artist studio into the booth. Because here's the thing, for most art fairs, because they happen in rented facilities such as a tent or an exhibit venue. You know, there are only specific days and times in which the artwork can arrive. In other words, you cannot just ship your artwork like a month in advance and then just gonna hold it right there for you. No, you know, there's specific days and times in which the artwork must arrive at the fair in order to participate, to be included in the fair. So it's very, it's, it's very strategic. And as a gallery, you have to work really hard on making sure that the artwork is going to get there on time, which is the hardest thing, figuring that out. Usually you have to also communicate with the art fair how you're planning to ship your artwork, what company you're using, so that they know what's coming and so that it is prepared. And you must follow the fair's instructions on how to deliver the artwork and what are the window times in which that has to happen. Then the next step you need to think about is then also your marketing. You know, how are you going to market your artwork uh, as it is going to be featured at the at the fair, you have to you know start emailing your collectors, your list, uh, you know you're really creating your marketing program. As far as your marketing materials, you also want to think about printed materials. What are you actually going to bring to the fair? Are there books, catalogs, uh, magazines? You know where your artists have been featured. Um, you know gathering all the information for all the artworks artist bios, CVs, all that information that somebody may be interested in knowing more about that particular artist. 
Another thing that you have to decide as a gallery is figuring out how you're going to manage the booth. Most art fairs will have either from four days all the way to six days uh, of continuous fair, and usually, typically, they would open at either from noon or 11 or 10 a.m. all the way to 7 or 8 or 9 p.m. depends on the fair. Each fair is different. So you need to figure out who will be able to attend the booth uh, because it is really difficult for one person to do it all for every day without relief, without help from others. Another thing for preparation before really arriving to the fair is to think about logistics of, you know, your stay. Where are you going to stay? How are you going to travel? How are you going to get there? How long are you going to stay there? The closer you stay from the fair, you know, will be the easiest and the best because, you know, the reality is that by the time you leave the fair on any particular day, you are tired, you are exhausted. The first thing you want to do is just get to the hotel or the Airbnb and have a nice chill night before the next day. All right, so let's talk about the actual day of installation. That's when the really, really the, the hard work begins physically, right? So you arrive at the, at the fair and you have been in touch with your shipping company. Either they already delivered your artwork to the booth or you wait for it so it gets delivered to your booth. Once you have that, then installation begins. You're going to make sure that you have everything that you need to install your booth. You know, nails, hammers, screwdrivers, anything that you could possibly need. They measured, don't forget a level to make sure the artwork is perfectly straight on the booth. So you got to make a, a checklist of everything that you're possibly going to need and add a little bit more just in case. Don't just bring the exact number of nails, bring a few more um, because you might need it. You know, something might go wrong. And it, it always happens that something may go wrong and you need to have a little bit of additional on anything you need. Also, your uh, titles and medium and size and you know, all the cards or labels that you're going to use to assign each artwork needs to be there, needs to be ready and prepared. So installation day, super hectic. You arrive there, you know, you are kind of uh, working against the clock because the fair will give you a time when everything needs to be hung. Um, prior to the VIP, because usually there are a few hours between when everything is hung and the VIP so that the whole fair gets cleaned up. And then after that, my friend, that's when the party begins. <laughs> that's when the real work begins, actually, for the gallery, for those who are attending the booth, which is the VIP. That's typically a night uh, when the fair will open to the collectors, to special invites, to those who buy the VIP tickets. And galleries typically will get also a number of VIP um, invitations that they can give out to their collectors, to their uh, people as well who may want to attend the fair. And from that point forward, my friend is just showing up every day, every day, making sure that you're taking notes on um, people that you're meeting, and notes on anybody you need to follow up with, answering questions, checking up on your emails, etc., etc. I mean, it's a lot of work that happens, and the reality is that it goes very, very fast. Once the fair is over, then you will also have a very short window of time in which all the artwork that has to be the install and ship either to back to your gallery or to storage or to the buyers, the new collectors who may have acquired pieces from your booth. So there's a specific um, amount of time in which all that happens. So typically you also want to have an agreement or a contract or a contact with a local shipping company who can help you make any deliveries that may need to happen you know, as the booth ends. I mean, the, the turnaround on these things is super, super fast, super, super crazy. And then after that, of course, the gallery will have to do some follow-ups and connections and all the stuff with all the new people that uh, were met at the uh, at the at the fair. So that, my friend, is the whole journey. Is the whole journey from beginning to end on what it takes for a gallery. So it's a lot of preparation, a lot of work, and that's why you know galleries spend a lot of money on participating in international art fairs because you know they are for once they are a marketing tool as well. It's a way to put your gallery on the map for collectors to see your artwork, to see the artists that you are presenting. It's a big investment, you know, it's a huge investment as well. You, it's a networking yeah, also event where you will make new contacts and you will also network with other galleries as well because many, uh, many times great business can happen also from gallery to gallery. So if you are an artist who is looking, who would like to participate in an international effort, how you do it? Well, first of all, you if you have to see if you want to participate, you know, you have options. You can look at a fair that accepts 
uh, artists as well because many fairs I do accept artists where you can apply as an artist without a gallery and you have a booth as an artist and many fairs do this however there are other fairs where you must be working with a gallery so like I said every fair is different you have to go to the website see what they ask for in the application process now having said that a lot of fairs also do have special projects even if maybe an art fair that's typically for galleries a lot of fairs do also have a lot of times special projects where they feature a number of artists who may necessarily not necessarily be associated with a particular gallery but they may come in as a uh, as a project uh, that the artist may be having that the gallery wants to partner with and feature so again you have to look and you have to do your research and see you know the type of fair that you want to attend or participate you know what is it what are the possibilities that you have now if you're looking to participate with a gallery then what you need to do is you need to start looking at galleries approaching galleries what i would recommend is actually attend a fair first you know the one that you want to be part of in the future attend it be there yourself see how it works you know uh, look, make a list of all the galleries that are participating in the fair which actually you can look at each gallery will be listed in the particular art fair directory for that year so you can go there and see okay these galleries are participating so you know those are galleries that you may want to consider you know also approaching at some point now it is very difficult for an artist to have your art reviewed during you know during an art fair you know because the galleries are very busy it's not really the place where you bring your portfolio or your artwork hey can you look at my art you know it, it is it is typically not the right place to do so however when you visit you just never know and this is advice i always give artists you just never know always have your portfolio if you have an ipad bring your you know your portfolio in your ipad so it's easy to see so if you happen to be talking to a gallery owner or gallery director or a gallery attendant that perhaps maybe happens to be not really busy in that moment and maybe just curious to see what kind of art you make hey you already have it here now the reality is that many galleries are very difficult to approach um you send an email they will never reply and a lot of times not because they're bad galleries are mean it's just a lot of galleries are really bombarded with a lot of people and it is very difficult for them to uh you know to be reviewing uh you know on a daily on a regular basis uh submissions from artists that come through email so you know you just gotta be patient you gotta you know try to find a way to you know to introduce yourself but understand that just because you see a gallery you think oh my work would be amazing on that booth for that fair that you just introduce your work to the art to the uh, gallery and the gallery will say oh yes you know let's do it you know come on over we're going to be in Arbasto next year that doesn't happen that way you know because remember the gallery is investing a lot of money on that booth so remember we talk about numbers you know thousands of dollars on on participating on any of these fairs um you know they have to think about really the investment they're making and what type of artists they're bringing in typically artists that they already know artists that they've been working with in order to bring them to this particular fair artists who they have worked in the past uh, really they will just take an artist really quickly and say yeah just come on over you know it is very rare but you just never know you know there might be a gallery who loves your work and all of a sudden says hey you know i want to give you a chance you just you just never know so you know you just gotta be patient you gotta be proactive show up show up and uh, and look at your different options that you may have as an artist just because you cannot participate in an international fair with a gallery you know that doesn't mean that you're out of the game you know there are other art fairs that you might be interested that uh, are welcoming to individual artists and uh, the last thing i want to say is that you know when you go uh, to an art fair as a gallery or as an artist you know, you're gonna be going with the mindset that yeah sometimes you know you may do a lot of sales sometimes you may not do a lot of sales and sometimes you may sell sometimes you may not but you know it's more than the sales too you know it's all the opportunities that you have to engage with the audience to networking to market your work to start collaborations to maybe you get some commissions i mean there are many things that can happen you know from a well-organized art fair because if the right people 
you know, are the ones who are attending the fair. It gives you a lot of opportunities that otherwise you would not have as an artist outside of that fair. So, well, my friend, hopefully this kind of gives you a better look into what it takes for a gallery to be in an international art fair. But wait, before you leave this video, if you are an artist who wants to grow your art career and wants to achieve greater success, make sure you check out the Art Next Level program. You will find a link under this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the next video that we have recommended just for you.